Let's look at the dosing of clonidine. Clonidine can be started off at 50 micrograms at nighttime. It's usually best prescribed at nighttime because it's known to reduce hyperarousal and also has a mild sedative effect because of the GABA activity that we talked about. Once starting off at 50 micrograms, one can gradually increase it whilst monitoring blood pressure at the same time during the day, usually both sitting and standing. And one can go up to a dose of up to 400 micrograms per day. The FDA has recently also approved the extended release clonidine for children and adolescents between the ages of 6 to 17. This dosage is between 100 micrograms to 400 micrograms per day. Now the extended release version in terms of dosing is administered twice a day. If the dosage is split, they recommend that the higher dose be given at bedtime, very similar to what happens with immediate release. I generally tend to prescribe it once at night time only. In some individuals, I might prescribe a smaller dose during the day if there is significant hyperarousal that's present during the day as well. But prescribing clonidine during the day in some individuals can result in mild sedation and the drop in blood pressure particularly during standing, can result in some dizziness, which may limit their use in daytime. In terms of monitoring, as mentioned, blood pressure monitoring is the most important thing. It can reduce heart rate as well. So overall, clonidine can be a useful agent when individuals with ADHD have the comorbid anxiety as well. We know in females where there are significant internalized symptoms as part of ADHD, clonidine can be a very, very useful agent. Interestingly, clonidine is also useful in perimenopausal type symptoms. So for example, reducing hot flushes. We know clonidine also treats nightmares. So when we take all of these hyperarousal type symptoms that are present, it can be targeted for use in ADHD, where comorbidity will all these other symptoms are present. I find clonidine a very, very versatile agent when used appropriately. And in terms of versatility, for example, it's also evidence-based in the treatment of akathisia. In fact, the mechanism of akathisia, for example, is significantly mediated through noradrenergic pathways in the nucleus accumbens, particularly the shell region of the nucleus accumbens as opposed to the core region. Similarly, in post-traumatic stress disorder, when the amygdala is firing, we know that the amygdala has a significant innovation of noradrenergic neurons from the locus ceruleus, clonidine helps target specifically this reduction of hyperarousal in the amygdala by acting on the noradrenergic pathway.